Hi, it's Angeline. Today I have a fun crafty video with Unity Stamp and I'm going to show you how to create this full card using a large stamp. So I've already stamped it double on a white cardstock creating this large stamp and I'm going to colour it in using my Jane Davenport watercolours here. Just going to do some simple really basic colouring here, just adding the lighter shade style first and adding shadows in between. By the way, I just wanted to mention that this card is fully inspired by Jennifer McGuire as I watched one of her videos and was really interested to try out this technique and thought I'd show it how I do it my way and hope you're inspired as well. Now all the colouring is done, I've already fussy cut the large stem and now I'm just going to slice it in the middle into half. So next I'm going to create my card base here. I'm just grabbing a cardstock which is measuring about 4 quarter and 5 and a half inches and a pattern paper just to make it prettier. Next, I'm going to arrange my flower so that when it is closed, it will look like it is one stem. But when it is open apart and folded, you can actually uh, see the sentiment inside. So here, we're just going to decide where I want the flowers to be. So I decided uh, I want it this way. And once you get your position right, I'm going to grab a bone folder here and just making a mark so that it folds to the back of my card for both of my stamps. So I'm just going to fold it down and using my bone folder to just press firmly there. And again, I'm just uh, placing it right over my card as you can see before putting some adhesive right at the back of my card. Once you're happy with the position, it's time to put some adhesive right at the back and just fold it right at the back of your card. Next, grab your sentiment and place it right behind the flowers so that when it is closed, you'll not be able to see the sentiment. It's kind of hiding behind the flowers. Once you're happy with that, grab some twine. Here I'm using some craft twine from Trendy Twine to tie the flowers together. For the back of the card to hide the twine and the stamp, just place a cardstock behind and you're all done. So here is a close-up of my finished card. Once you open up the twine, the stamps just fold over and reveals the sentiment inside. So here is my finished card. I hope you enjoyed this technique and thanks for watching. Bye!